Right, so let's have a look at question number 16 from the 2015 National 5 Physics paper. This is actually quite a tricky question. Uh, I imagine a lot of people uh, got this question done incorrectly in the exam. Um, and maybe if you're preparing for your exam, you'll be looking at this one and thinking, how do you do it? So hopefully I'll try and help you understand what's going on here. It says the car of mass 1200 kilograms is traveling along a straight road with a constant speed of 20 meters per second. The driving force is 2,500 newtons and the frictional force is 2,500 newtons. So first of all, what that means is that there are two forces horizontally acting on the car, a driving force going forward of 2,500 newtons and a frictional force in reverse of 2,500 newtons. That means that our unbalanced force F is equal to zero, which is why it is moving at a constant speed of 20 meters per second. So let's have a look at the question. It says the work done in moving the car between x and y is one of these things. So if we think about the equation, we know the equation for work done. Um, Ew is force times distance or force times displacement sometimes. Um, the distance is 50 meters. That's good. What's the force? Now, <laughs> well, the force is zero. So you might think, well, is the force zero? Is it 2,500 2, forward? Is it 2,500 in reverse? Um, if you said zero, therefore you would say the work done is zero, and you would say the answer was A, and you would get the answer wrong. Um, so what do you do? Well, you have to understand that work done is work done against something, and the work has been done against the frictional forces. So in actual fact, because you're uh, doing work um, against the frictional forces, the amount of force that you're applying is 2,500 newtons. And so therefore, when you do that calculation, you get 125,000 joules, which is indeed, in this case, the correct answer. So it's because you're doing work against friction and the force that you're requiring is 2,500, and that's why you use that here. Some people also might have been caught out by this other sneaky one, um, 240,000 joules, and that is a measure of the kinetic energy. Just do that in a quick different color. The kinetic energy is half times the mass times the velocity squared. If you plug the mass in and the speed uh, 20 squared in here, you'll get 240,000 joules. And again, that's incorrect because that's just the, the kinetic energy at any point in the journey. It doesn't relate to the work done um, to overcome the frictional forces. So to reiterate, our answer is C because we're dealing with uh, the force against friction causing this car to move 50 meters.